Hello guys, it's JD Oxlite here, and today I decided to do a new campaign. Um, campaign loading, new. Let's just do it easy, cause normal, never gonna win. I'm just gonna let you watch this, cause it's epic, especially the orcs. Seven armies clashed on this one world, each refusing to back down, each convinced it was in the right. From beneath the sands of Cronus's central desert came the Necrons, ancient machines bent on eradicating all life, but another evil already had its eyes on the planet. From the depths of the war, the demonic forces of chaos arrived to enforce their claim. To oppose these fearsome powers, the planet's rulers in the Tau Empire sent their elite soldiers and sophisticated battle suits into the fray. From the mighty Imperium of Man came the Imperial Guard, there to secure Cronus for the glory of the God Emperor. Like a green tide, the Orc Horde descended on Cronus, caring little for others' claims and sowing destruction in its wake. The Eldar Ancient enemies of the Necrons emerged from their webway to pursue their own agenda on Cronus. And last came the Space Marines, finest and most uncompromising of the Imperium's soldiers. Seeing a world beset by aliens and heretics, they undertook a great purge. A dark crusade had begun. It could only end with the total victory of one of these factions. Okay, so that was the trial, and those are the seven characters, and probably gonna play as, I don't know, I didn't play Tao since months now on. Um, Orcs, I defeat everyone with those two characters, go warp spiders, Tao, don't know who. Um. Yes. Eldar. In the depths of Craft World Old Three, the Eldar Farseer Talvir foresaw the return of the Necrons and their campaign of galactic genocide. She had driven the Imperial Guard on Lorne Five against this ancient foe, but the threat remained real. When the Necrons rose on Cronus, Taldir faced a new problem. This planet on the galaxy's edge was beyond the reach of the Eldar webway. Instead of traveling from the craft world via this ancient system, Taldir's forces arrived aboard her wraith ship, the Vision of Lillian. This alien vessel hid at the edge of the system while an advance party took a small shuttle to the frozen wastes of Tyria. There, they erected special gateways linked to the holds of the vision of Lilith. So that's what's over. The Necrons were on the march, and the assortment of other powers on Cronus could not be trusted to stop them. Abandoning her habitual manipulations, Taldir ordered her forces to begin an all-out conquest of Cronus. If none of the Monkai would stop the Necrons, the Eldar would do it themselves. Okay, this was the Eldar. <sighs> Welcome to the single-player campaign for Donna. Okay, so. Um, so, wait, uh, okay, sorry, sorry about that, I had some mistakes, um, waiting, How? but that's not fair, when I say Tabu, it's not there, that is not my fault, Space Marines, or Imperial God, or Necrons, um, no, Why does everyone win except me? Okay, so I'm the Eldar, I guess. I only have to attack one place. Veteran range squad. Attack.
Okay, um, this was part one to decide. Uh, you see everything, and the game will start for the part two, and then we keep going. Well, it's actually it's yeah, that's it. I'll have to go. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and like. Thanks. Peace. Yo.